Hello, and welcome back to Minimal Expectations. In this episode, right. we're going to be constructing a compost facility for the estate. This compost bin uh, was bought from gardeningworks.co.uk. It's one of their ones with uh, a few blemishes and knocks and scratches, which takes a bit off the price. Of course, uh, a single compost bin is not really a, a full compost facility worthy of having a siding uh, going up to it. So um, naturally, I got a second bay. Not really necessary with this little garden, but um, there we are. It uh, looks a little more impressive, perhaps. And here it is, all done and ready to take its first vegetable matter. It was a truly dreadful year for the tomatoes. And with a very cold and damp end of the summer, I got uh, very little out of them um, in the end that was actually ripe. So I've picked off all the ones worth having, and now the plants are coming out. The delivery of these dead tomato plants represented the first real use of the nascent railway as a minimal horticultural tramway. Dead tomato plants have, um, by now, completely rotted down and turned into lovely rich compost. So we're going to skip forward a few months now. So we're going to look at uh, using some of that compost and using the railway um, in order to plant out some basil. Much like those dead tomato plants, the tramway has also developed and improved uh, over the last few months. And uh, I will be releasing some videos uh, which will look in detail about the construction uh, of all the bits and bobs you can see here. And so fear not, there will be, nothing will be missed out. I follow a no-dig gardening method, so all that has to be done to prepare the area for planting is to remove any weeds, and there being no perennial weeds here I'm not going to put a covering down, apart from a good thick layer of compost, and then I'll plant directly into that. As you can see, one of the compost bins uh, has got vegetable mat rotting down and that gets turned into the next one along once and then the completed compost can be taken from there.
With the bed prepared with its top dressing of compost, we can now retrieve our basil plantlets from the polytunnel, ready for transplanting into the bed. These plants have been grown from seed and have uh, lived in the polytunnel until the weather warmed up. They've since gone on to give a really good yield of, of delicious basil um, and I harvest them by pinching out the top points and that encourages the plants to branch out and to become more bushy and to give you more basil. I hope you've enjoyed this little look into how I use my 5-inch gauge horticultural tramway to help me make and distribute homemade compost around the tiny estate. The fact that the compost bins are really very close to where I planted them will just, will just gloss over that.